Hello, it's Flair here, and I'm going to do a review on Tough Luck. I did do the review on plates for about a week from now, and it's good that I didn't do the Tough Luck right away because we had the new update on, on last week, and it basically changed a lot on her. So the Tough Luck skill set got pretty huge nerf, so it's good that I didn't do the video right away. Uh, let's have a look. So. When you awaken a tough luck, you will get the diminishing effect on the first skill. And that used to be 5 turn, now it's 3 turn. And the second skill, um, which used to heal, I believe it was on 100 or 80%, it's now 50% if the enemy has debuff. So before the update, the tough luck was pretty much soloing stuff because she. Uh, cast the Dimis and then strike with the second skill to heal herself up. So that made her a really good solo runner. But because of the update, they nerfed the both skills and now it's not a reliable. It problems if you are still running the B8 dungeon solo with just tough luck because the heal won't trigger every time. Now it will trigger only on half of the time, so that makes it a little bit more harder. And the third skill, which nobody seems to be using, is a five mana strike that will remove from one buff. So I did a little damage test. The second and the third skill seems to be doing about the same damage. Maybe some minor differences, but they are basically the same skill. Um, one thing that you will notice in Tough Luck skill set is that the second and the third skill are only 5 second cooldown. So keep in mind if you are going to play PvP content, that the tough luck will probably be the first one to move in the combat. So that that creates uh, some kind of threat in the in the game if you are running stuff like Kaboom. Uh, oh sorry, not, not Kaboom. Uh, stuff like... Um, um, what's the name? Well. If you are running anything that's water or tech unit, because the tough luck will be first one to strike, and if you have something uh, like uh, 5000 HP and something like 1000 defense, it will be that the tough luck might be striking your unit down with the one shot, and that's not a good start for the game. So, tough luck is, is, is a bit scary in PvP, but what I have seen, it doesn't do that much damage and I haven't seen many times anyone dying to one shot, but if somebody has insane runes that might be happening, so keep that in mind. Um, so what the tough luck does well, it's the P8 dungeon. You mostly want to build her because of that dungeon when you are in the early stage of the game. And tough luck, it's, it's easy to build, the soul stones are easy to get, so it will be one of your first 6 star units, and one of the first awaken units you, you will receive, so that makes sense because you need it for B8 uh, dungeon running and stuff like that. Other than that, it's not that important to have her. I rarely use her in any other places, well some scenarios and trial and stuff like that, but for the P8 it's an uh, insane dungeon runner. And um, for the runes, in my opinion it's pretty simple, uh, Tough Luck is a damage dealer, you should rune her on strike rune set, and you should be running uh, uh, something like attack presence here, and also here or flat attack and uh, HP or defense here. Uh, if we look at the main stats, we can see that the defense and HP are pretty low, so don't focus too much on defense percent runes because don't won't gain anything to you. Uh, the attack is pretty high, pretty nice, so if you want to run flat stats, I prefer on tough luck to use flat defense and flat HP and use the attack proceeds 
percentages on, on, on her so that uh, it, it will gain more value of the runes. But if you don't have good runes, also the flat attack is it's, it's fine. It's fine. But if you think about it, um, 50 percent will add over 1000 damage. And usually the flat attack rune is something like uh, 7, 800. And you will gain more. You will gain more if you use the percentage rune instead of flat stats. So keep that in mind. Um, that's about it. I don't have anything more to say about her. Solid good unit overall you will be playing with this unit in the early stage. It's the one of the easiest ones to get. Um, I'm not sure about the late game. She might be dropping out of the picture but uh, we'll have to see. The game is not that old yet so I'm not really sure what to say about that. So uh, thanks for watching and I will be making more more unit reviews pretty soon. Bye!